for fine lines and wrinkles. So uh, for women who have lipstick lines, it's, it's great for that area. It's really a great product for fine tuning. And we'll be demoing some other products later as well. Now Jessica is a young girl and she already, how old are you Jessica? 28. 28. She's only 28 and she's also already starting to experience a little bit of tear trough here. Now one of the reasons she has this is because she's so fit and lean that as we age we start to lose fat and uh, volume underneath our eyes. So you'll, you'll see as we start to demo this how great this works. Now, one thing that's nice about the fillers is that they actually have lidocaine in them, so they you really don't even need lidocaine topically before you inject. And this is one of my favorite areas to inject. Now, you have to be careful. Some people are overfilled underneath the eyes, and you're starting to see people look like they're they actually have sinus problems with them, something like that. If they they get too much, and what I'm seeing is that people are putting a little bit too much immediately. So with this, can I get my visor too? Okay. So if you want to come closer, you'll just see that she's got this little bit of hollowness. Her bone is really starting to show here. So it's a great product. And we've also been doing a little bit in her acne scars. Is that you've been doing the soap, right? Or which one have you been using? We did sculpture. Oh, sculpture. Yeah, we did a little sculpture in her in her scars. <laughs> and silicone. <laughs> so we've done a couple things. But it's really helping, awesome, along with dermal waters. So now let me tell you a little bit more about the silk. It's part of the Restylane family. And um, so there are three three products in that family. There's the perlane, which is the thicker molecule. There's the restylane, which is the medium-sized molecule, and now we have the silk, which is, which is a smaller molecule. So, unfortunately, underneath the eyes there are a lot of blood vessels, and we like to place the product right on the bone so it doesn't show. And so, with this area, because of all the blood vessels there, it's common to get a bruise. And nobody likes a bruise, but you know, in order to get the product to place nicely and look natural, oftentimes we will see a bruise. And as I'm placing it, I'm going right down to the bone to try to get a really natural look. And now one of the things you can do to minimize your bruising is to use a little bit of arnica or bromine, and that helps. We also recommend using some ice after the procedure is done as well. You can see we're just putting little drops underneath the eye here. And this product is great because it, it has longevity, um, which means it'll last for the same amount of time that we'll see with the Restylane or Perlane, and that's about six to nine months. Now in areas where there's not a lot of movement, we're going to see it last a little bit longer. Now you'll see improvement already. And Jose, can I get um, you to wipe down that side for me, please? Now, initially, right after the injection, it looks a little bit lumpy and a little bit swollen. So it takes about a week to see the maximum improvement. Maybe two weeks if we get a little bruise. How's it feeling, Jessica? Not bad. Not bad? No. And I'm the biggest baby there is when it comes to filler, so I get this done, and if I can get it done, anybody can get this done. Um, what, what I recommend is leaving it alone for a week or two to let the swelling from the uh, needle injections go away, and then after about a week or two, you can just sort of massage it a little bit, and it just smooths it up.